Hello Scruffy fam, how you doing? Joe here. I am really excited today because today I get to show you guys the new pistol that my wife is going to try out. So uh, to give you guys some backstory, um, if you saw the video of my everyday carry, uh, my Canik TP9, uh, Combat Elite Executive, man that's a mouthful to say. Um, I really, really like that firearm. Well, um, I have had a Smith & Wesson M&P shield for seven or eight years that was my carry. And I'm pretty sure my wife shot it once and just absolutely hated it. And through talking uh, with what I do with my jiu-jitsu school at the time I get home at night uh, and the current state of things in the world, uh, she said she would feel a lot more comfortable if she had a home defense gun at home. Now I've got plenty of other firearms, but we also have a lot of little kids and we don't want something that's gonna over penetrate um, or take up both her hands if she needs to grab a kid. So through that conversation, um, she has held the canic, she liked the way it felt in her hand, and so we said, okay, let's look and see what could possibly be something that you would like. And you know, I've never been a Glock person. Uh, I have never owned one. I've shot them a couple times, just have never really been my thing. But they've been around for over 20 years. So many different uh, law enforcement and security organizations use them. Uh, I just really have never had the want or desire for one, so I never pursued getting one. But it kind of made sense for my wife in this aspect of I don't want something that has a lot of bells and whistles don't it doesn't need to have all this other crazy stuff on it it just needs to be if the situation arises she can pull it out point pull trigger go boom so you know honestly glock is probably best for that and the glock 19 would be a really suitable option the problem is those range anywhere from i was just at the gun shop picking this up today and i think they start at maybe 550 dollars for the gen 5 and go up so that's a lot of money uh, for a first one, but if you really think about it, it's a good price. It really is, and, I, and I'm not gonna knock that price. It is a good price if you need one, but there is an option. There's an option outside of that, and Palme Palmetto State Armory has made a Gen 3 Glock clone called the Dagger, and many people have already reviewed this thing, um, I've seen reviews from a couple years ago all the way up until just a couple weeks ago of people talking about their daggers. Um, but let's look at this real quick. Let's look and see what it's got. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to it. And then we will take it to the range and you guys will get to see my wife shooting it for the first time, get her reactions and get her thoughts on this. So uh, let's take a look. Let me get you guys set up here. All right, so here we go. Here is the box as I see it. So when we open this up, we have all the paperwork from the gun shop. In the top here, so in this little top part, we get a Palmetto State Armory sticker. We then get the dagger owner's manual with more stickers so you get the actual dagger sticker and another palmetto sticker so they make sure you've got plenty of stickers um, and then standard owner's manual comes with all the fun stuff in it um, I like how this is broken down I'm always a fan when the companies actually walk you through everything because this is a very, very, very affordable pistol. I think this one comes in at, uh, I think you can get it for $299, maybe $309 for the two-tone. So I'm a big fan of this, that it shows how to break this down and go step-by-step -step with pictures. I've gotten owner's manuals that don't have pictures and that just sucks. So we got a buttload of pictures. 
Then we have the firearm itself. So here we go. We got PSA dagger, nine mil, the two-tone black with the sniper green, OD green, whatever green you want to call it. So there's that. Uh, let's look underneath. Underneath that, we have the magazine. So this is a PMAG 17 GL9. So there you go, PMAG. We'll see how this does. Made in the USA. I like to see that. 17 round mag. That's good to see. Um, your lock. Chamber flag. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Um, I'm going to get this set up a little bit better now. Let's take the magazine. Let's put all this stuff back in the box. Okay. So I have you guys set up here at my cleaning station. So there's the mag. Let's pull this dagger out and take a look here. Okay, so when looking at this dagger, a couple things that uh, stand out to me right away. So here's the magazine release. This thing is really stiff. Let's see how it functions. So here we go. Comes out. Comes out just fine. That's nice. Um, I really like this texturing. It's got this single little nub here. From what I understand, the Glock uh, Gen 3s had several of them. Um, I like this little assist here. So if your magazine gets stuck, um, it's easy to just reach in and pull it out through there. I like that. Uh, this is this trigger is a lot like the MMP trigger, how it's got this additional little blade safety on it. Uh, there's the takedown, there's the slide, hold open. It's got serrations up here. Ooh, those are nice. Nice tight serrations here. Nice serrations back here. These are iron, which is really nice. Uh, the Glocks are plastic, so let's see. Ooh, it's stiff. All right, well, there it is open. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like you can go ambidextrous here. I'm sure if I got creative, I could, but doesn't look like it initially. Um, little rail accessory up here, and we'll talk about what's going to go on that. Um, but overall, this isn't bad. I mean, no bells and whistles on this thing. Okay, that works just fine. Let's see the trigger pull. So we verified it's empty. There's nothing in there. There is no mag. Let's see what the trigger looks like. Okay, a little travel there. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, let's check and see if the magazine will hold this thing open. Sure does. Holds open on empty mag. See if it'll ride with an empty mag. Nope. All right, drop the mag. Hey, there we go. Okay, so initial first impressions of this thing uh, is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I mean, not I can say. It's a Glock clone. Looks like a Glock polymer. Uh, I like these. I like these serrations. I mean, that gives it a nice grip. Uh, this. There's, there's no RMR on here. You can get a different slide for this if you would like uh, that does have that RMR cut, uh, cut or if you were high speed enough to uh, drill it in, you could. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, I do like the rounded here that gives it a... I don't know. I like that, that look. It's probably going to holster fairly well. Um, it's got a good hand feel, honestly. It's got a really good hand feel. And my wife's got hands kind of, I think we have almost the exact same size hands. So I think she's really going to like this. We decided to get the full size over a compact for that reason. So let me show you guys what's going to go on here. Um, we're going to put this Pinty Laser. There we go. This Pinty Laser. Um, it's just a little red dot laser. I'm going to put this underneath here. I'm not going to show you guys how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to put it underneath there. I'll show you guys when it's all done. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is because my wife's a new shooter, we're going to take out as many things that could cause her to miss as possible. So we're going to get this set up for her 
Uh, we're gonna take it to the range, get it zeroed, and let her put I don't know, probably 100 rounds through this and see what she thinks. So I'm gonna get this on. Uh, next time you'll see us with the dagger is at the range uh, with my wife shooting it, and we'll see you guys there.